beauties, welcome back to my beauties big sister channel. When I asked you guys if you wanted to see a Fenty Beauty new lipstick haul try on session, you guys said yes. So, we're sitting down today, this is the first time that I've actually tried these lipsticks. I haven't even looked at the packaging yet, they are still in the bag, so this is 100% first impressions of everything. It says in the little cute little slip note, it says it's time to slip into something a little more comfy. Meet our new Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. Wow! <laughs> Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. That's, that's a mouthful. An easy to wear moisturising sheer lipstick that comes in 10 universal shades. And the best of the best news to unexpected shimmer pop. This sheer yet buildable lipstick is your go-to for when you want to look good without doing the most in just one swipe. Okay, one swipe, that's a big claim. Hashtag slip shine. I'm excited. This sounds like it's right up my street. My favourite lipstick of all time is the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine. It's my favourite. It's dewy. It's moisturising. It's hydrating. It just looks glossy on the lips. That's my favourite. Let's see if the new Fenty slip shines beat the YSL. That's that's what we're hoping for today. Well, this is what we're looking for. It comes in the normal standard um, Fenty Beauty packaging i kind of i'm like rihanna can we update this now like i've got so many of these black and white boxes which just don't give me like instagram cute vibes you know the black and the white so i'm hoping she'll update but we will see same design as the normal lipsticks this one is like in a pearlized capsule which is cute and it does feel a bit bigger than the the other ones i think um so right Let's just go straight in. Woo, dewy. So with the other ones, you've got the FB embossed in the lipstick, which is a nice touch, but it goes after you use it anyway. So it's not a massive deal that this doesn't have it in it. So let's try this one. This is Retro Rose, which is number six. Make sure I've got everything off my lip. I'm doing a, a one slip to see if this is, this is true. I mean, I would definitely go in with more than one swipe, but this is from one swipe. Let's do a one swipe on the top. I mean, it has actually given me colour and shine in one swipe, but I would feel like I needed more, so let's build this up. I also feel like with new lipsticks, you kind of need to, like, warm them up, don't you? That is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Oh my gosh, this texture. Why sell move over? Mmm-mm-mm. <laughs> it feels so buttery, can you see? It's very similar to YSL. Well, I just sound my perfect nude. Just from the first shade I've tried. How insane is that? Oh, this is 100% staying in my collection. That is beautiful. I've got to say, I didn't really want to take that lipstick off because that was gorgeous. Now we have Cookies and Cocoa. I love that name. This one has got a gold shimmer in it. It looks like a, a toffee kind of colour. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with these already. What the hell? I love everything Fenty. I just think it's such a sick brand. Wow. That shine and that shimmer is like a grown up shimmer, you know? Like that gives your lips the most beautiful. Mmm. Look at that shine. Oh, I'm obsessed. This is so, so, so pretty. I've started to make a pile of my favourites and so far they're both in my favourites. <laughs> This one is called Makeout Break. It's just like a really gorgeous, like very, very light creamy nude. Oh, I just love how sheer these are. Like they're, at, they are actually quite buildable, but that is right up my street. I love to go for a dark lip liner and a lighter lipstick. Um, oh my gosh. These are all gonna go in my favorites. Isn't that just the most perfect color? Like in the tube, it looks like it could be too light. Once you put it on, that is stunning. <gasps> Brilliant. <laughs> Another one tried to the favourite. How do we feel about this little curly bit here? <laughs> I'm actually quite enjoying him. We have, oh, this looks like another blowing gorgeous nude. This is called Glazed. This looks like it could be more of a peachy tint. Oh, how am I going to decide? I need your guys help because I'm, I want to keep these all. Oh, wow. It's my favourite new lipstick, hands down. Oh my god, I love this shade. I adore warm nudes. I adore nudes that have peach in them, like this. Oh, that is stunning. This is going in my favourite favourite. <laughs> now we have more of a pretty petal pink. This is called Sugar Kiss. 
let's see how intense this comes out like I don't normally wear a pink but where that's just like a, a sheen I think this is probably one that I'm gonna wear the least in the collection so far just for the fact that I don't really wear pinks but <laughs> now I've got it on my lips I'm falling in love with it I do actually really like this color but yeah I, I do love my nudes more than my pinks but I do feel like this is a, a real candy girly pretty pink but it's just this formula that is just so insane I think of this one it's called Tang Thang um, this is oh, orangey red. I do love an orangey red. How is this going to work as a tint? Let's see. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, I do like when I wear a red when it's like opaque, punchy. I'm not sure if I'm loving the tint of red. I think when you wear a red, it's really got to be out there, hasn't it? It's got to stand out. And I, I'm not sure. Maybe this one would grow on me. Like, I do like the colour. I'm just not sure of the colour with the finish. We have Quartz Candy, which is completely clear. But can you see that iridescence that you've got here? I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> one else is hay fever. So bad. Let's see. Oh wow, that's quite cool for a clear. That's really iridescent. It's like a pinky purpley iridescence. I would probably wear this on top of the colour. I'd probably wear the nude underneath and layer it with this. Because it's like a lip gloss topper without having that sticky lip gloss feeling. Like it's still a buttery lipstick. I really, really do enjoy that. Next we have Bubble Rum. She looks like a nice chocolatey shade i feel like i need to be more tanned to pull this off i've never normally wear a lipstick this dark it's quite different isn't it it's giving me like 90s vibes i also quite like it with my hair slipped back i think that looks quite cool am i cool enough to pull this off that's the question <laughs> not gonna lie this one slightly scares me a deep purple shimmer this is called vamps who brunch let's see this is intense. This is too much for me. This is not a shade that I would wear purely for the fact I don't wear purple, like I don't wear dark lipstick. But if you're looking at it like the finish of it, it's actually really cool. It's different. Um, this like blue iridescence in it. But I do think darker skin could definitely pull this off. I don't think I'm pulling this off. <laughs> Slightly annoying that you can see the shimmering particles left from that lipstick. Uh, but this one is called Goji Gang. It's the last one to try. Looks like it's going to be a good one. Oh, that's nice. Warm toasted nude with a little bit of shimmer. No, it's just like a sheen. It's not shimmer, it's a sheen. This is definitely one of my favourites as well. This is like a toffee nude. Oh, I got it on a tea. Cute. <laughs> well, all in all, I have, I think my two favourites would have to actually be this one. Goji Gang and Glazed. I did enjoy Glazed, didn't I? That peachy nude. Let me know what your favourites are in the comments below. I'm actually really, really, really excited about these lipsticks. I think everyone is going to love these. And I like that there's a nude for everyone. It kind of covers all the spectrum of nudes. Do feel like it's a little bit random that we've just got one purple, one pink, one red thrown in there. Um, I don't think I'd wear those to be honest. I think that this kind of formula of sheer buildable buttery lipsticks really works for nudes. I'm not sure the brighter shades work personally for me. Um, but yeah, these are my two favourites. I think I am 100% keeping these in my collection. Let me know what your favourites are in the comments below. Thank you beauties so much for watching. If you have got any questions then leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.